The copy groups and paste groups buttons allow you to copy polygroup and polypaint information from one model and then project that information into another model. So here I have a model that has polypaint information, as you can see there, and it also has different polygroups. And I also have a model that was edited with the edit topology option. And as you can see, because I edited that topology, I lost my subdivisions. I have no more polypaint and I lost my polygroups. So I would like to copy the polypaint information and the polygroups onto this subtool. Now, if I leave the polypaint icon off, the polypaint will not get projected. But if I leave it on, the polypaint will also get projected along with the polygroups. Now, notice that this model has only 13,000 points, while the original model is subdivided and it has 211 points at the highest subdivision. I can copy the groups from the original and place them in the edited, and that will give me this result. Let's do that. So if I go into original and I copy groups and then come to the edited one and paste groups and I get this result. So all the polygroup information from this model was projected into this model. As you can see, the colors differ, but you have the same polygroups in the same place. Now, if I turn on colorize, you can see that you don't have polypaint information, but if I now undo this, and if this time I turn on colorize, come here, copy groups, go back to this model, paste groups. Notice that now the polypaint information came through as well. As you can see, the polypaint is not as sharp as the original model. This is because this model contains as a lot less points. Now to counter that, you can subdivide the model where you're projecting to prior to do this operation. So if I press Ctrl Z to undo that, and notice that my original tool has 211,000 uh, points and has three subdivisions. So if I come here and I divide my model up to roughly the same points, now when I go back to my original and I copy groups, go into my edited, paste groups, now this may take longer uh, according to how many uh, points you have because it is projecting details. Now when the operation is finished, you can see that the polypaint has much better resolution. We still have our subdivisions. Now areas where the mesh has been modified a lot, uh, this type of small errors can occur. As you can see here, when you're working with subdivisions, this type of errors can occur. You can easily fix this using your Z modeler brush. So to use my Z modeler brush, I first need to freeze my subdivision levels. And now if I B Z M on my keyboard, I'm in my Z modeler brush and I can choose polygroup. And now if I click one of these groups and press shift, that will copy that group and I can paste it and fix these little errors. And that's copy paste polygroups. I just want to, one thing to keep in mind when you're using copy and paste groups, uh, make sure you just go to your original tool where you want to copy from, press copy groups and go straight to your tool where you want to paste your groups and press paste groups. Otherwise, if you go and do some, add some sub tools or add some more tools to your project and then you go and paste groups, it might not work correctly. It might delete the wrong, wrong tools in your project. So keep that in mind. From copy, go straight to paste. Uh, yes, of course I can now unpress free subdivision levels and I get back to my uh, previous subdivisions that I had.